Hey y'all, welcome to Freedom Makers. I'm Amanda and today we are making Beauty Berry Jelly. I am so excited to be sharing this recipe with you guys today. I made it for the first time yesterday. Yesterday morning, Sunshine and I went outside and we picked our beauty berries. We have one um, bush on one side of the house and one on the other and we did a whole bush and after picking that we had enough for four batches of jelly. So I made two yesterday and making the other two today. The jelly that I made yesterday set really well. It's beautiful. It's just a lovely color. It smelled amazing and I licked the bowl when I got done or the measuring cup when I got done yesterday with the last batch and it was so yummy. So I highly recommend you look into your area and see if you have beauty berries available. They grow wild all over North America so this is chances are something that you can do as well. I'm also making plenty of it so I am going to be sharing this with my patrons at Patreon at the $10 level and above so you will be getting um, jars of jelly soon and then I also am saving seeds from my vining okra for my patrons as well. My vining okra has done amazing. We are still um, actually eating off of it so we still have green beautiful vining okra coming in. We're eating this fresh raw and then I also have some that are starting to dry on the vine. My loofah gourd here and the seeds that come out of these guys are um, black. They almost look like little watermelon seeds. So I will be sending seed packets from Freedom Makers to my patrons as well. I really appreciate your support and without further ado, let's get to making some jelly. All right y'all, so before we get started, I thought I'd show you my setup. These are the jars that I did yesterday. Then I have um, some butter out. If it gets really foamy, I'm gonna toss a little half pad of that in. My recipe calls for four and a half cups of sugar. I have four in this bowl and then a half cup with my Sure Gel um, fruit pectin in this cup. So half a cup and then my packet. And so all together it's four and a half cups. Of course all my supplies here. These will be for the next round. Lemon juice. Um, the ones that are upside down are for my next batch. I'm doing two batches. There are several ways to sterilize your jars. Some people use boiling water, some people use the oven, and um, for today I've used the dishwasher. I started it just really early this morning. Here we have our beauty berry juice. It's just now coming to a boil. Behind that I have this pot. It's just um, starting to simmer a little and this will be what I water bath in. Next door to that are my lids steaming away in a pot. Okay, so when you're ready to get started you want to make sure everything is out and ready to go. My sugar is measured. This is a quarter cup of lemon juice. You can use the, the juice of one lemon if you prefer. Next, I'm going to throw in, it'll take it just a second to get it back to boiling. Okay, so I'm gonna toss this in and whisk it. You want to stir immediately and break all that up. If you don't, your jelly will be a bit cloudy. Next, you wanna dump in the four cups of sugar and stir that in well and you're going to continue to stir this for between two and three minutes and in a moment I'll show you how to tell when your jelly is ready um, to, to pour. When it starts to boil again, come to a rolling boil again, is when you'll start to see a lot of foam. If you do put butter in it, make sure you're using a high quality butter and don't put any more than this. Like I put a very little bitty, it's not even a pat of butter in there and it will help with the bubbles that are starting to come up in my pot. Alright, see how it's coming back down? It takes just a second. Don't be alarmed and don't leave your pot for any reason. You cannot leave your jelly. It needs you. <laughs> you just want to keep stirring. I am now at three minutes and I am cutting down my heat a little bit. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna try to get up close without making a mess. So you see how it coated my spoon there? That's what you're looking for. When it coats your spoon like that, you know it's ready. So I am going to um, cut my heat and I've got a glass measuring cup here. I'm about to start pouring my jelly into my jars. Once 
once your jelly is in your jars, I like to skim off um, the top there. Get any foam off the top. It just makes for better presentation. I suppose you don't have to, but I think it just looks much nicer. Next, you want to wipe your rims. I'm just using paper towel and white vinegar. This is uh, my favorite method for removing anything sticky from my jars. Um, it's sterile. It helps me keep things clean. Your food is only going to be as safe as your kitchen is clean. This will go in the water bath canner for 10 minutes after I get these all wiped well. So I've got just a big pot. This is my biggest stock pot. And I'm going to be water bathing in this today. You don't have to have fancy equipment to water bath. So I'm wrapping my first jar um, like so in an old dishcloth and setting this guy in the middle. Okay, so you may need to use your little tool here um, to maneuver your fabric there. That'll just keep it from the jars hitting um, the bottom of your pot. You don't want anything cracking. And you just put your little jars in there. Um, my pot here will fit seven jars, which is perfect for this recipe. Seven little jelly jars. Mommy. Yes, honey. You may come in the kitchen, but I want you to stay back from the stove, okay, so you don't get hurt. Okay, good job, good job. Uh huh. That's the butter. It's your favorite. Yeah. Okay. So once you get all of these in here, you want to bring this to a rolling boil, and then you are going to time these jars. That one's kind of crooked. And there we have it, y'all. I just got the second batch out. Um, this far row and then those three are my last batch. And so in two days, this is what I got done. Four batches of this lovely Beauty Berry Jelly. If you would like to know more about getting your own jar, head on over to Patreon and check that out. I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for stopping by.